everyone, welcome to my first After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can completely clear the cache and the unnecessary files that After Effects stores in the background. In order to get rid of the unnecessary files, we will need to go through a couple of steps. So the first step that we need to do is open After Effects and go to Edit, Preferences, Media and Disk Cache. This window will show up. Over here you need to choose Empty Disk Cache and Clean Database and Cache. Those are the two first steps that we are going to do. So click over here on Empty Disk Cache. As you can see over here I would clean more than 60 GB of storage. So click OK and wait for the cleanup. After finishing this, go over here and click on Clean Database and Cache. You can click on OK and this window will close up. So after finishing this step, the next thing that we need to do is delete the so-called CFA and PEK files that After Effects stores in the background of your PC. So what you need to do is go to your C drive on your PC and type CFA over here in the search bar. Will probably be a lot of CFA files if you have been using After Effects. So when they all load up, make sure to select and delete them. After deleting them from here, they will move to recycle bin, so make sure to go over there too and delete them. These files are basically copies of everything that you have imported in After Effects while working on your projects. It is important to stress out that when you delete the CFA and PEK files, you are not deleting the primary files that you have been importing in After Effects. So by deleting these, I freed up around 30 gigabytes or so. After deleting the CFA files, repeat the same process for the PEK files. So that's it guys, this helped me a lot. I freed up around 90 gigabytes of my storage. If this video helped you too, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell. I'm going to prepare a lot more tutorials and freebies for you guys. Also make sure to drop a comment below how much of your storage is freed up after watching this tutorial. I'm really curious to know about that. Thanks again and talk to you soon.